Yo, what's up everyone, Kamsi here. Um, today I'm bringing you the second part of the background tutorial I made about a week ago. Um, in, today's, in today's part, I'm going to show you how you can add pretty cool effects to your 3D text. Um, I'm not showing you how you can make 3D text, pretty cool 3D text, because I'm using Lightrooms, and these Lightrooms are... I'm making my own Lightrooms, but you will find nearly the same Lightrooms in many GFX packs. Like, just search up from, for GFX packs and you will find a lot of Lightrooms in this GFX packs. Like, Rated 2K GFX pack, or ERAS pack. There are so many Lightrooms in, and they are all pretty good. Um, then, after that, you will have a 3D text, which is looking like that. And I'm going to show you how you can add a pretty cool effect to this 3 text and how you can put it on your background. So first of all just drag and drop this text onto your background you want to make. Here are the boxes we made in the last tutorial. Um, just on making the text smaller and put it on this side. Because I'm normally all the time designing only on this side. So here. Yeah. Just make it a bit smaller again. Like so. Um now you see the text is rendered out pretty dark. So just make a new layer, create a clipping mask, use the paint bucket tool, color white, color that and put the blend mode to overlay then it's a bit lighter um, then just merge the layers then this is your text you're working on and you're putting the effects on now so just double click this layer and go to gradient overlay and you see it's going from black to white here black white and now put the angel to 180 then it's coming here's the black and here's the white one but now you don't want to have the text like that so put a blend mode on overlay and the last thing you're gonna do in the layer style is go and drop shadow put the distance to 0, opacity 100 speed 20 and size to something between 15 and 20 I actually did it on 18 it's just up to your personal preferences whatever you like more do this um, yeah. So just click OK. Then you got this uh, layer styles on this text now, which made it pretty good. It looks better than actually this one. And now you can add more to this text. Just make a new layer, create a clipping mask, and hit Control and click the picture which is before your layer of your 3D text and it selects the this layer and this 3D text now just go to the elliptical marquee tool and hit alt from here go over it like that this just deletes a part of the selection like so now you got a bit of the top selected with the roundness and now make sure you are on the layer which you created and which is on the clipping mask and go to the paint bucket tool um, to the gradient tool and just select the second preset which is going from a color to transparent and now just select the color here white then it's going from white to transparent and we want to have this so now just make sure you are on this layer hold shift um, just go over here and it <coughs> colors this white and like you see it goes from white to transparent but that don't looks pretty good so we just set that um, the blend mode of this white layer to overlay then it looks pretty good we can put down the opacity to about 10 uh, 70 or whatever you want just up to your perf personal preferences again. You can also put leave the blend mode on normal 
and put the opacity down to about 20 or 10 but I prefer to put the opacity to something about between 50 and 100 and put the blend mode to overlay because it looks a lot cleaner um, yeah then um, now we got the 3d text but we want to have it looking real 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 realistic so I'm just gonna use some textures like this one just just place it like that and now create a clipping mask to the uh, 3d text layer and then put the blend mode to overlay and I got another pretty cool texture Oops. just put that on here yeah um you will also find these textures in GFX packs like rated 2k GFX pack or some other GFX designers GFX packs they're nearly everywhere in so yeah you will find them for sure create a clipping mask again and put the blend mode to overlay again so this is this adds a pretty real real effect to this uh, text and it's looking pretty good but I'm a pretty grungy designer um, this text matches to my grungy style it don't matches to if you want to make a glossy background or something like that you shouldn't use these effects I'm showing you here um, um, stuff yeah it's just uh, for my grungy style um, in this tutorial we will make a grungy background so if you don't like grungy backgrounds or if you want to make a glossy background then this tutorial is nothing for you but probably with the things I'm showing you you can just do the same just in a glossy style then it's nearly the same um, this tutorial is helpful for you as well so just follow it and then just adjust everything to your personal preferences and just make everything what you want to do um, just that you like it at the end and now I'm adding a bit more effects to this text that it actually it looks like it doesn't fit to this background or to this box or stuff I'll just uh, duplicate I'll just select every layer in here duplicate them and merge the layers now I'm go to filter blur motion blur and the angel to about 90 90 grade and just click OK and then you see it's like yeah it it adds a blur effect to it also make the same just duplicate again put it on that merge the layers you can do the same uh, or you can also add that uh, which is lens blur which adds a pretty cool which makes it pretty blurry just hit OK and then you see that that's a bit big it makes it a bit bigger and blurry um, there are just pretty cool effects you can add in here probably put the opacity down yeah it looks better if you put opacity to about 50 but there are just uh, simple filter options layer style options what you can use to make your 3D tags looking good um, in next tutorial in the next part of this tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can add light strokes and stuff like flares to the background that it looks pretty sick and pretty cool so yeah um, I'll see you in the next tutorial then I'm sure this part of this tutorial part 3 will come out this week so stay tuned on my channel stay active and if you haven't subscribed me yet, please go and subscribe me, like this video, comment it, and yeah. Uh, I'm out, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.